This is a lesson on doing uh, RP3, which is the next step in preparing your research paper. Uh, as with the last, as with going from RP1 to RP2, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new document uh, and we're going to call that one uh, RP3, oddly enough. And as you know, if you're uh, using Google Apps uh, and you're in one of my classes, uh, we need to title it according to our convention, which is with uh, the block number you're in, followed by the title, which is RP3, and then your last name. And uh, there we go. And uh, as when we move from RP1 to RP2, we are now going to copy all of RP2 and we are going to paste it into RP3. So we do Control C and then we do Control V. Now, uh, today's lesson is to take the quotations that you have uh, uh, chosen from your articles and to paraphrase them. We are doing that uh, so that we have a choice in our paper of using either paraphrases or quotations. And so what you need to do is to read uh, the quotation and then put it in your words. And so I have done that on these and this is kind of the process. Uh, please notice that I wrote these ahead of time and put them on another uh, document. Uh, uh, absolutely unnecessary for you to do. I'm doing it so we will get through the, uh, uh, vi this video more quickly. And so uh, what you do is uh, you uh, decide what your first quotation says. I would skip a line and then you will type it. So this one, what my quotation says in my words, is that in Vietnam, physical education classes are short and not daily. Further, breaks away from the classroom offer no time for physical activity. Now notice, I have done my best not to use the same words as are used in the quotation. Uh, but the idea is there. So I must give the author credit for that idea so I have included an internal citation here. And notice that the internal citation is prior to the period. Also notice we are not in quotation marks here because this is not a direct quotation from uh, the source. And so then we go down to the next one. And uh, I guess I'll read the first uh, the quotation. Moreover, because gym lessons are considered a peripheral subject and not rated by scores, only by teachers' remarks as good or fair, they are always deemed inferior compared with other subjects like math, literature, physics, and chemistry. Both gym teachers and students are thus less interested in physical training. So I have uh, changed the verbiage on that uh, to um, because of their reputation as lower level courses, they do not have the reputation of academic classes and do not attract quality teachers. Oh, that is not very good. Uh, because I have used the pronoun there, uh, here, and we have no idea what the there refers to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that because of um, the reputation of gym classes as lower level courses, they do not have the reputation of academic classes and do not attract quality teachers. Okay, always a good idea to read them once or twice to make sure you're doing the right thing. Had I left the there in there and it had appeared in my paper, uh, a person reading it may not have known what I was talking about. Uh, so anyway, so that, uh, that's for the second quotation. 
And we can go down here and, and look at, despite the positive long-term physiological and psychological ex effects of exercise, many young adults between the ages of 12 and 21 years do not participate in regular physical activity. Uh, and that's from the Department of Health and Human Services. Nationwide, 33.4% of students in grades 9 through 12 do not participate in sufficient, vigorous, or moderate physical activities. So I want to change, put those in, that in my words, and so I have done that uh, here. And uh, we go back again, we paste that in below it. Uh, uh, even though benefits of regular exercise are significant and well known, only a small minority of high school students engage in significant physical activity. Notice again, there is still that parenthetical or internal citation here at the end because it's not my idea, it's Chickamascolo's idea. So we have the same thing here. Often our solution for helping secondary students become, act, uh, become active focuses on immediately getting them involved in some sort of physical activity program. And so I have reworded that to say, a common plan for helping inactive students is to put them in an athletic program. Again, notice that I am avoiding using much of the same words as in uh, the quotation. And every one of my paraphrases has an internal citation um, as, uh, as the uh, quotation has. And once you have done that to your 12 quotations, you are finished with RP3. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, thank you very much.